my gosh. Oh my gosh, I've been having a lot of video corruptions going on. And I had to delete some of my files in order to in order to keep storage going. So, uh, guys, I have some bad news. So, so this episode might be short. So, yeah, this is going to happen. So, what happened was today, uh, in this episode, I went to an ancient city along with the trial chamber I found. So, I found an ancient city on, uh, right near the trial chamber. In a, in a Badlands that's not too far from here. So, yeah, I went ahead and found that. And so, I went there and I grinded a bunch of uh, skulk and get all the levels. I got a lot of, a lot of these hoes. Yeah, and I got some rewards. I even got a trident from one of the trial, uh, one of the trial vaults. I even got Lane Ring Crater. But yeah. Um, oh yeah. I don't want to spoil what the, what's in there. So, so I got that, and I also had, yeah, and I also have so many bog heads. And I got so many breeze head. Yeah, and I got a ton of diamonds as well, so yeah, I've been having a lot of video file corruptions, maybe because of like storage, so. But, um, I'm just trying to explain what happened. Uh, there was another thing that happened, and so, uh, the other days, um, 6Pro and Peachy, they were trying to stalk, they were stalking me, and I was inside my house, and I sneaked out, and, um, I sneaked, like, I sneaked inside the hill, and they didn't even see me. They were trying to search for me. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, that, they were trying to search for me, and and so I was, I was tagging along, and, um, oh yeah, and another clip I wanted to show was, um, me, Peachy, and Lunar, we were over at Six Pro's house, and apparently Peachy moved his sheep farm into Six Pro's attic. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Six Pro's house is down there. Um, you might see it from here, because it's in the crater of this whole community area. So, what happened was... Oh, oh, I think the sheep is not there anymore, but what happened was, there was a sheep right there like floating on one block and there was a sheet pen underneath it oh oh, oh it's still right here <laughs> but here's the uh the wool farm that he put this is the sheet farm that peachy built oh yeah and so yeah peachy and apparently peachy and six are up to something i don't know what they're both up to <laughs> But, um, oh yeah, another thing, Onyx move. you know what I oh yeah, another thing, I'm going to, uh, oh yeah, so, another, th another thing I wanted to talk about is Mr. Onyx, he will, he was the uh, the dragon's dare because we did we were doing the dragon's dare by Preston because he made this mini game and so Onyx was over here and I was sta standing right here and he was all like hey PMA look at your inventory and he gave me the book and quill and the dragon head oh <laughs> no I've been dragon's dare yeah this game is not that bad it's almost just like hot potato but you don't want the dragon head. Yeah, if you have the dragon in, you must give it to another player, person without them respecting a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Six Pro's challenge was for Onyx to move someone's entire base to a different location. Yeah, he did that. And so Onyx said, oh, I have to do a... Um, an impression of another strider for a whole video so yeah that's gonna be interesting for my next episode oh yeah you're probably wondering who onyx decided to move um 
it's actually down here where six pros base is um uh, you notice his house uh, that's above his house uh that's preston's whole base and so onyx decided to move his whole base it was actually over there but he moved it all the way up there uh, it yeah it was so hilarious he moved it because i saw him i caught him one day over here i was like what's this guy doing and he's uh he's making like a, a little house on top of six pros base <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta do another impression of a strider in the next video. Alright, alright, so, alright, so, you you know why. The rest I'm gonna do this episode is, is I'm gonna build a minigame. Oh, uh, yeah, because I plan on building a minigame this episode anyways. And so, actually, there are two minigames I actually want to build. So, so, actually, this is the first one I'm gonna build, because I said... I want to do like paintball or something, but you know what? I had another mini game in mind, and so it involves using a certain type of potion, and that's why I went in. And that's what you see in this chest. I went into the Nether and got some other words, and I got so lucky down there. I got six Wither Skulls. Yeah, because of my looting three sword. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the mini game I want to build. <laughs> it involves using a potion that damages you. So, of course, it's instant damage. So, you're probably wondering, is that... You probably you probably think what this minigame is, but... Yes, it's dodgeball. Yes, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna... I'm going to make dodgeball. Yeah, so... So, it's gonna be dodgeball. Yeah, I know. Because I had that in my mind. Because I was like, it's not that... There was another minigame I wanted to build besides paintball. But, yeah, so I actually want to do dodgeball. So, let's add a little sport uh, game into here. So, so yeah, that's why I went ahead and made something brilliant stand. Alright. Okay, guys, I am back after um, getting a lot of resources. And as you can see, I got a whole lot of resources here. So... We're going to, going to be using a lot of these blocks in this build. I went ahead and tear down this area because this is where I'm actually going to build it. So, so, so you probably noticed the concrete on the fl in here is all going to be uh, the teams on each side. So, um, I think this uh, this side right here is going to be blue. So, all right. Uh, actually, how far do I need to go? Because I... It's... Oh, yeah, so... Alright, so, um... I got, um... Yeah, so the concrete is going to be the colors on each side. So, so, um... I'm probably wondering how, how you play this game because how am I gonna do this? So basically, I also made a bunch of these. I have a lot of these. And also, I am going to need poison potions in order for this to work. So, yeah. So, um, actually, I'll explain after I built the whole arena. So, yeah, I'm going to build it like this. Um, and also, the lines are all here. You're basically seeing, like, the whole line here is, like, where, uh, you're gonna be standing in side of the arena, as you can see. I don't know, actually, let me count this. How many blocks? Um, as you can see, both, uh, the team's arenas are ready to go. So, so you're probably wondering how you play dodgeball. So... So, if you probably notice, I have an instant damage pod. So, like, um, you can come up. Well, well, how people are gonna play this is, um, one player is only gonna have the instant damage pod. So, not basically, uh, not basically like your whole team. Like, if you're doing like a team battle, only one player on your team can have the instant damage pod. And then, 
And then you could actually come up here and jump and throw it like this. Yeah, you can throw it further than that. So you can... Uh, so you can try and get so many players with it. So, yeah, that that's basically how this game is. So, so this game is you... You get into the damage pod and throw it to the other team. And if you get all, and remember, last man standing wins the match. So, yeah, well, that's basically how this game is going to be. So, one player is going to have this instant damage pod. Um, and now there will be barrels. There will be barrels filled with these stuff. So, you you and your team will pick them up inside of the the barrels here and also um and also the purpose in this game is that everyone must be at half a heart when they come into the arena so yeah you're so that's why i'm also going to need some something to like damage them like an area for them to go and get damage from and, or or uh, poison yeah we're actually gonna make like a poison dispenser that's why I made some dispensers here, just so like every team on each side will have an area area where they uh, be poisoned. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, basically, this game is gonna be so. So, uh, by the way, there will be a fence gate here, so so basically both teams will be able to get in in the arena. And of course, there will be some beds over here to set your spawn as well. So. Anyway, so that's uh. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait here for a bit, and I'm going to go make a lot more instant damage fight, and then I'm gonna keep building this because this is actually going to be in that a whole arena, and also I will put a lot of light in here, and also um, I also brought redstone lamps in here just so I can uh, just so I can automate it. Uh, just so it turns on for like each round, uh, each player is going to win. Uh, each, uh, what, whatever what team, uh, wins the match, okay? Alright. So, anyways guys, I'm going to see you all back. Okay guys, I am back, um, getting some materials together. And yeah, I've been testing this out. And so, I'm actually gonna build, uh, Outside right here because we need to build an outside and also I'm probably gonna build like a uh, some bleachers and stuff around this whole arena so yeah you'll uh, you'll be able to see like competitors coming in into this so yeah we're gonna do that and yeah I'm going to use this this block well, so, and you know what? I might put in some polished deep slate in it as well, so I'll do that. So, so yeah, I'm going to build it all around here. Um, probably gonna build like three by three for each of these, and then we're, we're gonna build bleachers out the back. So, so, anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna pop into a time lapse and I'll see you all back.
<laughs> okay guys, I am back after the time lapse, and yeah, yeah, you can see the arena is all done. I got all the bleachers in, and yeah, so yeah, you're probably wondering how you're gonna get in this place. Well, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna do that next, so I need to create an entrance to this place. All right, so I'm trying to... I'm trying to think this area right here is going to be the entrance to the play. Okay guys, I am back and I finished this tunnel design and as you can see, yeah, it's related to what, uh, the colors on each side. So yes, I chose copper for the red side. Um, I've, I've ran out so I need one more here, but I've been using copper a whole lot in this build. But I have to say, I think this tunnel is great, good to go. And don't worry, I will put uh, instructions here. Yeah, I will put instructions here, so don't worry. But I have to bring, like, some of the stuff over. But I'll do that off screen because, because seriously, I am just getting tired of recording this episode. Because I'm not, I don't want to be on too many episodes for too long. So, so anyways, alright, so... Alright, so, um, yeah, I'll finish this place, uh, off screen, but, anyway. And thank you all for, uh, for this episode of Strides That's a P. I hope you like the, uh, the 1.21 event that we're doing. And also, I hope you like the Giants Dare game. Now, I have to say, I have to say this one. Put down in the comments, what Strider should I do an impression of an ep of my next episode? Like, who, who should I do? Like, go down in the comments down below and what do, you, what do you guys think? Okay, so go down in the comments and also hit that like button and go subscribe to my channel as well. And also go follow me over on Twitch for my live streams as well. And so, and also if you have Discord, you should join the Strides SMP Discord server. And also you should join my YouTube and Twitch Discord server as well. For more support and more updates in the future. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Goodbye.